the victim. I mean, that mentality does exist, and it, it really is despicable. Yeah. I mean, I'll, that, I'll say that much, man. So I, I agree with you on most of this shit. And I yeah. just wonder, and I do debate myself. Is there like a group? Do they get to? Is there a group that gets together and they actually plan this, or is this just some natural what, cancer? What do you think? I mean, you have places like Bohemian Grove. Yeah. What do you think they're talking about when they get together at these things? I mean, when they're when they're not, you know, banging each other or you know, raping some you know child prostitute. Uh, in between that, I think they're talking about what how they're going to take over everything and how they're going to kill people. I mean, maybe, I mean, I, to me, the fact that people do that at all is disturbing. The I mean, fact you, that people that have any kind of relevance to my life do it is beyond horrifying. Because, I, I mean, do, do, do whatever it is they're doing is fucking creepy. And whoever's there is a creep. Yeah, and it's like, oh, you can have these places like Bilderberg where these people come and meet. All the big wigs from all over the world come and meet at Bilderberg. And you can't have any press there to show what's going on. They can have all the security guards and all the many guns to protect them, but they don't want you having any, any kind of protection. You know, I'm going to suggest a movie idea that we should do, and I hope nobody... Well, even if somebody steals this, I'd want to see the movie. A, like a comedy. You know how, like, uh, you know how Ronnie Dangerfield, like Caddyshack, where it's like he crashes the fancy country club? The idea of like a, somebody of lower class of less gets involved and sort of disrupts the situation, like King Ralph. Remember that movie with, with John Goodman? Oh yeah. Like I, I want to have like I want to have like some like like a crypt, the next crypto billionaire like weirdo like maybe like a twelve year old kid, and then he has to go to the Bilderberg meeting, <laughs> <laughs> and they're like trying to teach him about how he needs to control the world and about his destiny and all that. And it's like a slapstick comedy, and he tries to make like a Caddyshack version of it. <laughs> oh my god! I don't know, man. But yeah. me of, uh, What's that? Have you, do you know? Uh, have you heard about how Zuckerberg is said to just be the complete front person that was chosen to, you know, be the representative that would be? We could, you know, sell the story that like he came up with Facebook in his, you know, his college dorm room, when that's complete bullshit. It was like a, it was basically came up with by the CIA and then pushed and unleashed. And he was the guy, because if you talk to the, the co-founders of it, it's like, the, apparently Zuckerberg was a complete moron. He couldn't do anything. How, I, I ask people this, ask, people should ask themselves every time they log into Facebook, how is this a solvent business? How do they have a build, how do they own half of the Bay Area? How, what are they doing how are they generating this money? Where is this money coming from? People should just think about that every time they log in. I don't go on Facebook. Yeah. And I know why. Because I believe that it's a, it's a place that does social, psychological experiments. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. I think that they, your feeds, I think what they have your, I think they, they actually distort your feed and in such a way that it makes it look like you ignore people when you don't. Oh yeah, I, I, I've suspected that for a while. You had? Did you hear the one of the uh, quote co-founders of it or whatever? He talks about how it was designed to get to get you addicted to it, yeah. and then uh, what was? It? I gotta find. Uh, uh, and people, it, there are people are addicted to you know not necessarily just feeling good. People can get addicted to sort of high, you know, sort of heightened feelings in general. And people get on Facebook and they are designing an addiction. That's what that's that's kind of the point I'm getting to. And what they're selling and how they're making money is from that addiction is what people should be asking. Like, where is that? How is this financially working? Yeah. Because they're not paying. Who's paying for this? Hey, here, check this out. I don't, unless you already saw this, but for our viewers that didn't see it, these freaking commercials. Uh, sorry. Oh man, it's all good. Uh, so we've covered a lot this episode, dude. This was, I think, was, this is this is even our best one.